temporary zoning does not stop the landfill. The temporary yes. zoning requires that the landfill get a special exception. Well, I'm talking about zoning, not special exception. But well, a special a exception is part of zoning. Yep, yep. And the second part was I presented a 1,400-acre industrial park the day before special exception zoning voted. It's in that closet right there. So I can put anything on my land, stands out there before zoning? Have a nice day. No. <laughs> so the way zoning works in terms of its applicability, and I'm not entirely clear how this works with emergency temporary zoning, but with regular zoning, you have to comply with the zoning ordinance. And the way amendments work is amendments generally get discussed, debated, and finalized in the November-December time frame. Once those are posted, once notice of the meeting on those are posted, you can't issue any permit that would allow a use that would violate that proposed zoning ordinance. Um, you are protected from that if you have had a subdivision application that's been accepted or if you have previously been granted a building permit. So I don't know anything about the details of your application, but that's generally how amendments work. Two years prior to that, I came to the town with a 75 acre industrial park. They stamped it and put it there. Two years prior to it. Then you can probably build it. I, I don't know. Exactly. But so these are the questions I was asking. So I came here the day before, right? Oh, special exception zoning. And I put a 1,400 acre industrial park. Well, I don't know what you submitted or what was approved, so I would need to look at the actual document. It didn't have to be approved. There was no special exception zoning. No different than my drag strip. No different than my gravel pit. No different than my asphalt plant. Okay. No different than my industrial park. No a different than my house. A plan to have it doesn't protect you. You have to actually have it or actually have a permit. So if no permit was required? Well, we didn't have zoning. I, I don't understand that. Okay. I used to have a map here. I got a tent of the town. More taxes than anybody in town. I'm just asking, what do you have for questions? It was before special exception zoning, just like the first 75 acres was, but the 14 doesn't matter, the 1400. What I am saying yeah. is if the use was not in place before the emergency temporary zoning was adopted, and I mean in place, actively happening, then I don't think it's protected from zoning. But I don't know what you submitted. I don't know the details yeah. of this, so I would need to look at that in a lot more detail to answer that question. That's good. Well, that was the question. Does that keep you two tiers, grandfather? Well, it's not two tier grandfathering. It's anything that was in place before the emergency temporary zoning was adopted gets to continue. So there's only one level of grandfathering. It's just your ordinance has sort of morphed over time.